Action must be taken towards Kalar Argent, and I would gladly throw myself into it. I am not hesitant about that. What I am hesitant about is the group that I bring with me. Imowen, Khalid, and Jahira, even Nira, are my core group. When I had no one in the world after Garion was killed, I was out there in the wilderness, alone. Imowen, my friend since I can remember, was there. She found me after a brief time to myself. Then we found Khalid and Jahira, and they were sort of like my aunt and uncle. They all cared for me, and it was comforting to have that strength along with me. A little awkward at times when I wanted alone time with Nira, but comforting nonetheless. I go now north with none of those people. I will have to watch my back around Safana, and I will have to watch Ski to make sure she doesn't come to harm. Dinahir will be watching Minsk, and Minsk will be watching Dinahir. Now, who will be watching me? Well, time waits for no person. It will be done. Let's get this over with. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Look at all the people come to wish us good fortune in our travels, Boo. Farewell. And you take the care of your grandfather while I'm away? No problem. Killer will fall, tis the men gods will. I will, Mama. I love you very much, Roma. You know that, right? Keep gawking, wide-eyed stooges. That ye's are. Let us be off. Every moment we delay Keller's heresy for So this fresh is the hearts. great Feldurkin hero of Baldur's Gate, eh? Doesn't look like much to me. And who who are you? This and that to be done, no time to stay in chatter. Well I met my friend, and how does this morning find you? Uneasy? Understandable. Much depends on the success of our mission. Much depends on you. Much depends on every man and woman traveling with us. I'm just one among many. You are more than a simple adventurer now. You are a symbol. People cheer your name. Look to you for hope. Tis a great responsibility. A greater burden than I'd ever want to bear. Be vigilant. I wouldn't want anything to happen to the hero of Baldur's Gate. Oh, you're not making me feel better. Who is this? Kayla Argent is a mad woman, a chosen of the gods, or possibly both. Whatever the case, she's clearly dangerous. Take care on your journey. Do I know you? Name's Audemar Corwin. Gauntlet. Flaming Fist. Retired. You're traveling north with my daughter, Shale. See to it that she returns safely. My granddaughter, Roma, has already lost a father. I'll not see her lose Shale, too. Farewell, Galadron. I remember this dark elf. What is she doing here? How much longer must we wait? Crowds of fickle things. I know too well what can happen when moods turn sour. You're that Viconia dark elf. I remember that. I saved you. Is that you? What's this now? Padro knows the hero of Baldur's Git. Your drow? I belong to no man, Fog. And certainly not you. Well met, Galadron. It's been a while. What are you doing here? We're all here for the same reason. The Council put the world out looking for those ready to fight against this Kalar, and we're always ready for a fight. Hmm. You deserve better companions than this, Viconia. Join me. It always kind of bothered me how I left it, but her attitude didn't help. Wait a minute, wait one fell Derkin minute, I don't care who you are, don't care if you're Lord the Hells 1 through 9, you're not taking our cleric away from us! We don't have a cleric. I told you before, Fog, I belong to no one. Of all that cheek, I'll have your hide, you traitorous cow! I think not. This is the hero of Baldur's Gate, remember? And as you remember that, recall what happened to Saravok. Come. Let us leave this Iblith Dwarf to wallow in his own filth. Boo has not said anything out of politeness, but I know he is unhappy without direction. With ease. I don't know if I just helped our group or not. Don't bring in a drow along with us. Dwarf, what Oi, about you? Hero, I words with you. <laughs> what can I do for you, Master Hammerlust? 
You stole me for Dirk and Dro. Give her back, or by Abathor I'll split ye in two, crown to crutch. Viconia is her own person, Durgar. Thou hast no claim upon her. The hell's I don't. She wouldn't even be here if not for me. You don't just get to shuffle in and steal her from under me nose without so much of a buy your leave. Be gone. I want nothing more to do with you. Your companionship is not, not so grating as I feared. Hmm. I have to admit, I find her extremely attractive. Such crowds of tiny people. Let's get Make going. Way for Minsk and Boo, tiny ones. Wait a minute, Corwin. You are coming directly with me, are you not? I'm going to miss you so much, Roma. Mama, who is that? Is that the hero? Uh, you have children, Captain? Just one. Feels like more than that sometimes. I'm oh, sorry, I never even took that into consideration. I'm a handful, that's what Grandpa says, anyway. His hands aren't that big, though. I'd say I'm at least six handfuls. Six of his hands, I mean. This is my daughter, Roma. Roma, this is Galadron. I know you. You killed Saravok. Are you going to kill Kalar, too? Uh, I think your mother should probably answer that. Let Minsk take care of this little girl. In this world, there are many bats. <laughs> Some are good bats, and those we shall leave unkicked. Some bats, however. Lessons such as this are best left to the child's mother, Minsk. Yes, Minsk. Come on. They'll do what they have to. Just like you? Exactly like that. Have no fear, Roma. I'll make sure nothing happens to your mother. Mama doesn't need you. She can take care of herself. Oh, I like this little one. She has a fire in her belly. That's right. Now give me a hug, Roma, and go to your grandfather. Mama's gotta get going. Okay, she wants me to talk to her when we're ready. Let's do this. There you are. The caravan's at the palace gate. They're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. Not quite yet. As you wish. I never did find out uh, exactly what you do do. Laconia. She tells me she's been a cleric a problem. for a long time. This could use another frontline fighter. But out of curiosity, Viconia has explained to me... When I asked her about her past, she snaps that there is nothing about her that I need to know. Over time, I've learned that Viconia is a drow from the city of Menzo Bronson, although she left her home some time ago for unspecified reasons. Life on the surface has been hard for Viconia. She turns away from the traditional drow worship of Loth and instead venerates Shar, goddess of darkness and loss. Viconia still finds the customs and mannerisms of surface dwellers strange and takes malicious amusement in watching others struggle to decide how best to deal with her. Traveling with me has afforded her some measure of protection, and she seems to content, for the time being, to remain in my company during the march to Dragonspear Castle. I've also gotten to know Safana a little bit better. When I asked about her past, Safana spins tale upon tale involving fantastic liaisons with pirate captains, nobles, and royalty of all shapes and sizes. Her most recent escapades seemed to be truthful. She took up with an elf named Koran, and while the relationship seemed amusing for a time, she and Koran recently parted ways. She confines to me that Koran was just too much, wouldn't stop hanging off me in the most pathetic way. Always on the lookout for the next exciting adventure and perhaps needing to leave Baldur's Gate for a reason she hasn't shared, Safana joined the expedition to Dragonspear for as long as it remains amusing. Captain? With ease. There you are. The caravan's at the palace gate. You're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. Ready. Let's go. Forward march! We're with you, Galadron. Yeah, give him hells, Galadron. We are with you, Galadron. What are you doing? Cheering? Cheering for a sibling of Saravok? That's what they are. They found Saravok's journal. It reveals the truth, but the Council of Four wants to keep it a secret. 
Is that true, Galadron? Are you a child of Baal? You question the hero of Baldur's Gate? I can handle this, Captain Corwin. That's a bad idea. I don't know what to say, but I feel the truth is better than not saying anything. Hear me, people of Baldur's Gate. I know you suffered at Saravok's hands. I know you fear what the future holds with the heretic Kalar driving good people from their homes across the Sword Coast. I hear your cries for justice, and I swear to you, I shall end this threat to us all. Well done. Let us be on our way before some other wind turns the crowd against us. Captain Shale Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the Crusade. Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? And what of your goals? Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. I will see justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla Argent? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Blood is something to behold, not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. At once, my lady. We will have words about this, scarred one. Perhaps. This group shows promise. Extraordinary. You think so? Out of the way there, you're blocking progress. Ah, it has been too long since Minsk journeyed with such a fine companion. It will be done. Ooh, those crusaders are in for right pacing there, am I right? Hello? You called? Hello. I am Zena, faithful of Tempus. Praise be to the Lord of Battles. Uh, I've never been a fan of Tempus. Mizena, that's an unusual name. I don't think I've heard of it before. I created the name several years ago. My birth name proved unsuitable. How did you invent this name for yourself? When I was born, my parents thought me a boy and raised me as such. In time, we all came to understand I was truly a woman. I created my new name from syllables of different languages. All have special meaning to me. It is the truest reflection of who I am. You created your name out of how you feel about yourself. Interesting. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I have another question for you. Tempest. The Lord of Strength at Arms and Military Might will lead us to victory. I'm sure he will. Do you have any healing or potions I could purchase? Quartermaster Bellamgarn handles supplies. I may be able to help you with cleric services, though. The Lord of Battle's favor is a handy thing to have, especially in times like these. Oh, you expect me to donate? 
Well, this, especially raising the dead, may come in handy in the future. I know it will be done. I know that from uh, personal experience. Hello. Listen, that to be done. No time to stay and chatter. Yes, I briefly spoke with you before the gates of the Ducal Palace. Uh, well, thanks. He's asking me how my evening is. I'm glad to hear it. There are many depending on you to resolve the Kalar situation, as you did with Saravok. I'll do what I can, but I'm just one man. You are far more than that, as you well know. Do you wear a hood and frequent the palace chambers in late hours? These questions remind me of another. You are more than a simple adventurer now. You have become a symbol. People cheer your name and look to you for hope. It is a great responsibility, a greater burden than I'd ever want to bear. Yes, you've already told me this. Be vigilant. I wouldn't want anything to happen to the hero of Baldur's Gate. Um, Fog, the... Well, he is a dwarf, but he's a Durgar. Dark-skinned. They come from underground. Hello? I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Looking for a place to rest, hero? I can find you in a room in one of these tents. What do you do here? I assist the quartermaster in properly distributing distributing the camp supplies. I'm in charge of tents, sleeping rolls, blankets, and the lake. Can I find you a place to sleep? Not right now, thank you. Let me know if you want to rest later on. Captain Corwin? Cap set. Watch us too. We've been marching hard. Covered a lot of ground, but we've still a ways to go. Everyone could use a rest. Yourself included. Tonight might be the last full night's sleep we get. We'll be in Crusader territory after we cross the bridge. Hmm. Rest if you want, I'm heading up the road away. I don't want any surprises before we cross the Winding Water. Mind if I join you? I do better in the city than in the woods, but perhaps I can help, and maybe learn a thing or two. Bents can take care of the camp. Uh... Yes, you could join me. I could use some of your skill at my side. I heard you're really good with your bow. All right, then. Captain Corwin has joined with me. I was actually hoping that she would, because we can certainly use her. You can go third in the marching order of the group. After some conversation with Captain Corwin... I asked her about her past, and Shale Corwin reluctantly admits she ran wild as a child on the streets of Baldur's Gate. Her rebelliousness soon got her into trouble with the Flaming Fist. Left alone in a cell with nothing but her thoughts for company, she began to reflect on the decisions she had made in the past and see where they would have inevitably take her. When she was eventually freed, she decided to change direction in her life. She enlisted in the Flaming Fist and rose quickly through the ranks. I sensed there as little Shale Corwin would not do for her family or for the Flaming Fist. And I really appreciate her loyalty to the Flaming Fist. Now that we can, there's a few items I would like to be identified, especially this unusual looking amulet. This silver holy symbol of Salune features a pair of feminine eyes surrounded by seven stars. I don't think that somebody that follows Loth would appreciate that. Can anybody wear it? I don't have a necklace. Makes you wiser. That's And blesses you. That's all that uh, down here would tell me. How about this? Uh, she tells me that she needs to rest before she can cast another identify spell. Okay, so we will need a sling before we go into a fight. With ease. I'd like to find the actual quartermaster. Are you him? You're Bellingham. I have many fine wares. <sighs> Greetings, Galadron. If you need any supplies for the road, I can provision you for a suitable fee, of course. Uh, d have you any armor available? I do. This is what I have stocked. It's not that I have money for it. I'm just curious. Plate. Lots of nice plate. Shields, which don't interest me. Nice full helms. I already have the helm of Bal Baldarian. I don't think I need any more. Uh, can you identify this ring? Hopefully it's not cursed. 
Ring of Protection. The guard's ring was a... The guard's ring. The guard was an immortal sentry assigned to protect a tomb that sheltered the body of a princess of the Akino. Over millennia, respect for the grave disappeared with the memory of the royal family, and adventurers began to try their luck with the guard. It was inevitable that he would eventually be bested, and when he was, the ring he wore was one of many treasures taken from the tomb. It's a very nice protective ring, is what I have been told. But I'm not sure if anybody can use that within our, our group. And uh, passing around, it's no. All right, so that is... What are the rings I have? I have this old fr uh, ring of free movement, so I can never be stuck. And ring of fire resistance. Both are very, very helpful. Minsk has his armor. The magic will... Down here tells me it won't uh, do anything. Could you use this brace as a defense? She can wear it, but it doesn't really do anything for her, she tells me, Laconia. Alright, well, let's see about getting a sling. Uh, do you have some problem with me, sir? Aye, the council may think the sun shines from your nethers, but I've heard the rumors. Maybe you are the hero the bards say, or maybe you were in league with Saravok. Time will give us an answer to that, I suspect. Until it does, I've orders to supply you as long as you've coined to pay for it. This is no merchant expedition I seek to save Baldur's Gate. I have basic supplies for soldiers. You aren't one. Become a fist and you'll get a bedroll. Otherwise, you'll have to show me some gold. Well, show me your supplies then. Uh, any special magic items? Might be able to help you. Look at these. Robes. Bracers. Enamel belt could be helpful. I've seen those before. A bag of holding. I'd love to have that. Doesn't weigh anything, but I don't have the money for that. I will buy the uh, ammo belt, though. What about other things? Uh, weapons. Weapons are mostly what I have. Instruments of violence and murder, if that's what you want. Yes, you're trying to equate me with my half-brother. I don't think this is going to be easy, especially once it's, if it's officially confirmed that I am a a child of Ball. I don't think that uh, they would be naming me as the hero of Baldur's Gate for very long. Lots of weapons, bows, but we need a sling for Dinahair. He must have a here. This nice sling. And we can use more bullets, too. Others can use more bullets as well. I don't have money to pay for the magically enchanted ones, unfortunately. And then we have a lot of... Uh, we need a lot of arrows for this. Hopefully we'll be able to take some off our enemies, which is what happened when we fought all those bandits. But there's no guarantee. For now, we'll just buy some for those who need them. A lot of uh, huh? everybody in the group except for me uses a ranged weapon. But I do have my stealth. And that will have to do. So let us go up the road. Everybody have their items ready. I am not a servant to carry so much. I have dropped it. Sorry, down here. All right, that's all been sorted out. It will be done. Hello. Oh, hello. Apologies for not greeting you sooner. I was a bit distracted. Didn't notice you. Were you just singing to that rock? I probably look a little strange, don't I? This is a very unusual stone, though. It fascinates me. Hmm. It looks old. What's the writing carved on, on it? I wish I could tell you. It's not natural. I was walking the coast way, singing as I worked out a new song when I heard the stone humming. 
Intriguing. Was it humming a particular song, perhaps trying to communicate with you? At first I thought I might be going mad, but there are men hearers like this all over this side of the crossing. They all respond to my humming. When I sing to more than one, their tones last longer. They stop eventually, though. I tried to find all of them before the forest is too dangerous. I don't believe so. I'll watch out for these men hers. If you find them all, learn what they're singing. Could you return and let me know? Of course. I'll be here, singing to the stone. Interesting. A lot of interesting people all over the camp. It will be people done. People I haven't come to know yet. Hello? Good day, and hello to you. I'm Sorellis, a wizard in the employ of the Flaming Fist. What do you do in camp? I provide arcane support to the troop and help advise the commanders on magical matters. I'm not a merchant, but if you require gear, you can speak to Quartermaster Bellingham. Have a good day. What is Fog doing with us, anyways? And who is this little halfling? It will be done. Hmm? What? Hmm? What? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, excuse me, I've got to go. Oh, it's not a halfling, it's a gnome with the beard. What's your name, gnome? I'd like to know that myself. I don't recognize you, gnome. Who are you? My name! Oh, right, right, my name! I'm Glint. Glint Three Eyes Gardner Simpson. Pleased to meet you. Hmm. Three eyes? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, an old nickname. That's how many eyes Mom said she had to keep on me to make sure I stayed out of trouble. Turns out she really needed four eyes, but that... that's a long story. <laughs> I, I don't get a bad feeling from this, little one. But for now, I'm sorry, but we'll have to part ways. Yes, uh, that's good, right? Bye! Alright. Let's go look for these Minher stones and scout up ahead.